Hey what's up you guys, it's Vinny and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here or having it already, hit that subscribe button and the bell to turn on post notifications. Follow my social media in the description box below. Also check out my vlog channel, it's linked below. I post some uh, bloopers and whatnot. Today we are playing the second part of the Pretty Little Liars. So here we go. One year later. Allie never came back. For months, all of Rosewood searched. But Allie left us nothing to find. People were starting to lose hope that she would ever return. But me, I wasn't so sure. Because I couldn't shake this feeling that Allie was still out there and that she knew the secret hidden in my locket. That night at Spencer's barn was one of the worst of my life, but it was also the night I made the best friends I'll ever have. Allie's secret brought us together, but it was our own secrets that would keep us close forever. Hannah stopped overeating and got really into fashion, but that led to a new bad habit, shoplifting. I so thought we were busted. Her friend Mona taught her everything she needed to know about stealing. Nice glasses, nice scarf. Allie was right about Spencer going after her sister's boyfriends. Her sister got engaged to a cute British guy named Wren, but he came to visit Spencer's charmed him a little too much. You're not like my sister's usual boyfriends. How am I unusual? I actually like you. Spencer wasn't the only one hiding a relationship. Aria was too, but hers was a whole different story. Right now, I'm thinking I want to major in English. Guess I can't escape it. My friends always call me the artsy one. What about you? Just graduated, actually. I'm starting my first teaching job this semester. Aria and Ezra moved fast once they met. But nothing could compare, prepare her for what happened next. Welcome to English 201. I'm Mr. Fitz. Oh no. And Emily became really close with Maya, the girl who moved into Allie's house after her parents packed up and left. Are you ready to tell your mom about us? She doesn't need to know everything about me. These were the kind of secrets that we never meant to come out. But one by one, they did. Mm. Nice shades, Hannah. Do they let you bring accessories to prison? A. Mm. Poor Spencer always wants her sister's boyfriends. But remember, if you kiss, I tell. A. Mm. Well, aren't you a, the teacher's pet? What would your parents think about your new man? A. Mm. Hey Em, did you at least get a goodbye kiss? Here's one for me, XO, A. And A didn't forget about me. Who knew a secret so big could fit inside a locket so small? It'd be a shame if Brian found out what you've been hiding, A.
we had no idea who was texting us. And the threats were getting worse. M, you okay? A is ruining my life. Oh, uh, what'd she do now? She said she'd tell my mom about Maya. That we kissed. Okay, this is getting out of control. I'm calling the girls. We need to start fighting back. Okay guys, who the hell is A? I don't know, but she's starting to do more than just threaten me. She told my sister I kissed Wen. Which isn't even true, he kissed me. Come on, I can't be the only one thinking this has Allie written all over it. She was always messing with our heads. And now it's like she's making up for lost time or something. Hannah, Allie's gone. Gone, gone. It's been a year. We don't know that, Aria. They never found a body. Look, I don't really care who A is. All that matters is we hunt her down and stop her. Oh no. You all get this? Yep. Well, isn't this precious? Five little liars all together. You really want to know who I am? Follow the guy in green. A. Who's the... What the... What guy in green? Over there. Oh my god. That's Brian Burke. My Brian from Riverbank. What? Okay, this is freaking me out. He's cuter than ever. Did A really already get to him? Fanny. Oh, um, oh my gosh, Brian. Okay, Vinny, be cool. Well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here. Hey, shouldn't that be my line? I'm the one who lives in Rosewood after all. Man, I can't believe it's been a year. How are you? How am I? I'm now nowhere near over you. Why, do, why can I not? I'm great. It's amazing to see you. But I think I know why you're here. Aw, oh, man, who told you? Um, what? I just moved here. Remember my aunt from Rosewood? I'm staying with her for a while. Oh, wow, that's great. You look amazing. We have to take a reunion selfie. It'll make our friends back home so jealous. Okay, sure. Ready? What's so funny? Do I look weird? No, you look beautiful. But your friend over there looks pretty funny. Chance reunion with the boy I love. Thanks for the photo bomb, Hannah. Well, that was fun. So, Brian, wait, you just decided to move to Rosewood? There's nothing else that brought you here? I really hope A had nothing to do with this. I heard I could find you here. I'd love to talk to you. It's important. Shoot, I have to go. My aunt's gonna be home. Meet you there later, after you've done your- you're done with your friends. We'd have the place to ourselves. Um, sure. Let me just finish up here and I'll meet you there. Awesome. Hey, also, I got invited to this party at Noelle's house tonight. Are you going? Um... Yes, she's going. Hot, great. I get to hang out with you twice in one day. That's a good start. Really, Hand? 
What? Allie said to follow the guy in green. Who, by the way, is hot. Nice work, Vinny. He is hot. I'd forgotten just how hot. But he's just a friend. Then how come you're smiling like that? This is huge. Maybe you guys can finally be together. Maybe Ari is right. Maybe Brian and I can finally start over. Okay, back to business. Ali said to follow the guy in green, and he's going to Noel's party. Ten bucks says that's where Ali makes her dramatic return. That would be such an Ali move. So wait, we're going tonight? Of course we're going. But that's exactly what A wants. Yeah, I feel like we should talk about... Yeah. Not again. Brian won't be the only special guest at Noelle's party. Find me there tonight, pretty little liars. Or all your ugly little truths will come out. A. Eh? Did everyone get this? Yeah. I thought Allie was diabolical before, but this is next level. Guys, we have to go. We'll find her and make her stop. Spence is right. We're going to that party. Hey, Vinny. Hey, nice place. Come on, let's go upstairs. So this is what it's like to be alone with Brian in his bedroom. Um, I wonder what he has to tell me. Um, uh, take your time. I can't believe you're really here. It feels like I'm dreaming or something. Well, it's not a dream. Need me to pinch you? Hmm, I have a better idea. Proof it's really you. Okay, easy. We met in third grade. We were supposed to bring in cookies, but you burned yours. You found me crying and gave me yours. You were so sad and nervous. You saved me that day. Okay, I've got another. You're deathly afraid of melted cheese. True, but I'm trying to work through it. See, it's really me. So if I'm not dreaming, then why did you invite me here? It's about Lisa. What about her? Things have gotten bad. The doctor says she's not waking up. Oh my god. I told her goodbye, not like she could hear me. What changed? Nothing. That's the problem. She's not going to get better. Remember the days when it was just the three of us? Before we grew up and feelings got in the way? Of course I do. Things were so simple. We were inseparable back, inseparable back then. It's like someone pressed fast forward on our lives and suddenly it was just me alone in a hospital room with Lisa. I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you. You're here now. I mean it. Being with you, it makes me feel so much better. Good. So I have to ask, are you seeing anyone here? Like dating? Definitely not. Good. I've missed you so much. Oh god, I missed you too. Um, yeah, tell him. Me too, every day I've wanted to pick up the phone and call you. What's so funny? I was so nervous about this. And all either of us had to do was send a text. We're ridiculous. I'm glad you came to Rosewood. Me too. So what now? We see where things go between us. Okay, I like that. Penny? Yeah. I'm really glad you came over. Me too. And if we're being honest, I should have told you how I really feel years ago. And now that you're here in my bedroom, all I can think about is kissing you. 
Brian, you home? Shoot. She's going to be pissed if she finds you in here. I could sneak out the window? I really don't want to say goodbye yet. How about we hide in the roof, on the roof? That sounds fun. It has an awesome view. And maybe I can get that kiss? Oh, I don't have enough gems. I'd love to, but I should probably get going. That's too bad. But thank goodness for Noelle's party. I can't wait to see you again. Same here. I need the perfect outfit for Noelle's party tonight. I picked out something for you and your friends, little liar. Girls like you should always be dressed to kill, eh? What the? Wait, that dress definitely was not in my closet this morning. Hannah? Did you get that dress from A2? Yeah, are you gonna wear it? Already have it on. The dress is super hot. Aria, Spencer, and Emily are wearing it too. Okay, let me try it on. Oh, it's gonna cost gems. I don't have enough. Um... Those aren't a good option. Gosh darn. Guess I'll go with this. Nothing can keep me from this party. You are not going to that party. Don't you think I know what goes on at Noelle's cabin parties? But the answer is no. Dad, please. Uh, just consider it. I have and my answer is the same. I don't want you doing anything that might put your future at risk. Can't you trust me? How can you ask me that after you practically drove us out of Riverbank? And after what happened at Spencer's barn? Trouble seems to follow you around, Vanny. Dad, please, it's more complicated than that. I don't want to talk about it. Ever since that night in Riverbank, you've shut me out. Enough. Now go to your room. This is so unfair. Spencer? Penny, how did it go today with Brian? It was really good. But Spence, my dad won't let me go to Noel's. What? Why? He's being ridiculous. He says it's... Oh. My. God. Spence, I gotta go. Come and get me. A. When dad closes the door, I open a window. Ooh. See you at the party, A. Eh? And that's about it.